Hi and welcome to Car Tantra. Tata will be launching a production spec of the HBX later this year. Tata has confirmed saying that 95% of the concept car's look is going to be translated into the production car. This car gets me really excited. So with no further delay, let's go ahead with the video. Let's talk about this car's design. As I have mentioned before, the HBX is pretty much production ready. But whenever I look at this car from the front, I feel that Tata has borrowed a few design features from other SUVs from its brand. For example, the way the grille is designed is just like the Harrier, and the grille is completely blocked off, just like the new Nexon. The way the LED DRL and the indicators are connected to the blocked off grille and the main headlamp sit below them looks just like the Harrier. There is another feature that is borrowed from the Nexon, and that is the triarrow design placed on the lower grill. From the side, this car looks very tough, mainly because you have a lot of strong creases going on it. But there are a few features that won't make into the production car. Things like the skid plate and the crazy off-road wheels won't make into the production. Instead of these black rims, you'll get a dual tone rims with a different design on the production car. Because of the Alpha architecture, the HBX will have wing 90 doors that gives you plenty of access into the interior. Because of the Alpha architecture, you'll have rear hidden door handles, just like the Altros. From the back, you'll notice how wide this car is. This car almost measures 1.8 meters in width. The back of this car will pretty much be the same as shown in the concept, except for one thing, you won't get the triarrow design reflector. Instead of that, you'll have the normal round shaped reflector. Other than that reflector, there will not be much change done to the rear of this car. That means that you'll have the same triarrow pattern rear tail lamp. On the interior of this car, the same borrowing theme continues. The way the dash is designed is just like its bigger brother, the Tata Nexon, and the way of the controls that has been associated is just like its hatchback cousin, the Tata Altros. But still, it works. It looks utilitarian and premium for a car of this class. You have a 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system, just like its siblings, the Nexon and the Altros. But still, its main competitor, the Renault Quid, has a larger touchscreen infotainment system of 8 inches. Other than that, the HBX is several notches away from its competitors for interior ambience. You will get the multi-layered dashboard even in the production car as well. But you won't have those fancy leather stripes coming down from the middle. Speaking of the middle part, you will be able to get the company's triarrow design edged on the middle part. Tata is also saying that you'll be able to get those 3D looking events in the production car. I just wish that Tata makes these bronze gold detailing around the events and on the steering wheel. That just makes things a bit more lively. Speaking of steering wheel, you'll get the company's signature flat bottom steering wheel. And on that bronze detailing, you'll have a little dino picture. They have placed a Rhino picture because Tata likes to call this car a Rhino, mainly because Rhinos are born tough, just like this little SUV. And I do accept with them. But this car is not all perfect. There are a few things that I am not so sure about. They have placed the AC controls really low. That makes it hard to control while you are driving and you want to keep their eyes on your road. Now let's talk about the seats. They have been straightly derived from the Altros. That means that the seat have a leatherette upholstery and the seat gives you lots of support for your thighs. And when I sat in those seats, they were comfortable and supportive. And even the rear seats have been borrowed from the Altros. So that means the rear seats are supportive and have lots of under thigh support, which is good. What is not good is the reclining angle of the backrest. It's too upright. I just wish that Tata sorts it out in this HBX. Of course, because of the Alpha architecture, you have a completely flat floor on the rear. Let's talk about safety of this HBX. 
The HPX is built on the Alpha architecture, which also underpins the Altros. When the Altros was crash tested, it got a full 5 star for adult occupant protection and 3 stars for child occupant protection, which is pretty good for a hatchback. The HPX is also expected to get a full 5 star rating in adult occupant protection and the same 3 star rating for child occupant protection. If the HPX earns those numbers, it will be the safest car in its segment. To earn those safety scores, the HPX will probably come with two airbags. You will also get other safety systems like ABS with EBD and traction stability control. You'll also get a few first and segment safety features like adjustable seat belt mounts and isofix style seat mounts on the rear seats. There are a few advanced safety systems like voice alerts. This voice alert will engage if the doors are not shut properly or the co-passenger or the driver himself who has forgotten to fasten his seat belt. When this car goes on sale later this year, I feel that this car is gonna be the segment's top seller. I say that because this car comes with lots of first and segment features. Features like a reversing camera with rear parking sensors are not first and segment features but still it's good to have them. And even the rear armrest is not a first and segment feature but it helps with the comfort. Other than these two features, every other feature I am going to talk about now is a first and segment feature. You have a part digital driver's display that you can configure to your liking. You might be thinking right, what are you saying, the Renault Quid has a fully digital driver's display. Yes, I do agree with you, but the Renault system cannot be configured for stuff like radio and navigation system. And I do feel that the Renault system is more of an afterthought. And you also get the new express cool function. This means that at touch of a button, the sensors will sense the cabin's temperature and it will set the ideal temperature of the AC to cool down the cabin instantly. During this process, it will even wind up the windows if you have left them open. Features like a cruise control system is also a first and segment feature. This car is the only car and segment to have a push button start stop system. You also have the automaker's new IRA system. With the help of this new system, it will let you do things like set the ideal temperature for the air conditioning while you are sitting at home or at office. So that while you enter the car, it's all cool. It will also alert you if someone tries to break in your car. You also have the new what 3 word system for the infotainment system. In this feature, you just need to express your feelings and words to the place you'd like to go. For example, if you say the words holiday, surprise and design, it will take you to the place where these words suit the most. For example, if you are in Bombay, it will take you to the gateway of India. Oh, and I almost forgot, the electrically adjustable and foldable uh, wing mirrors is also a first and segment feature. The HPX will be rivaling the Renault Quid and the Suzuki Espresso. The HPX will have a best and segment engine capacity of 1.2 litres instead of the 1 litre found on the Quid and the Espresso. This means that the HPX will feel better to drive and better refined compared to the other two models. And you also have more power compared to the other two models of 86 bhp and 113 Nm of torque. This engine will be mated to a 5-speed manual gearbox or a 5-speed automated manual gearbox found on the Nexon. Tata could also make a younger brother to the Nexon EV by making this HPX fully electric as well. Yes, an all-electric version is on the cards as well. Tata hasn't confirmed anything about the production spec HPX's name. I feel that the production car will be named the Horn Bill. I feel that because many people call this car the Horn Bill. Tata has also confirmed saying that one of the reasons to call the concept HB is the Horn Bill name and X stands for really few concept car elements. These are the things you need to know about the HBX production version. I am sure that the production spec HBX will be the top seller of its segment. 
I feel that because the Hornbill is ahead of its competitors in every way. Whether you talk about the styling features or the interior ambience, this car is ahead of its competitors. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.